This is a quick video about how you can get a better scroll position when using that hash ID scrolling. So if I click on about, we actually want to go to the about section. If I click on projects, we should actually go to the project section. And I'm actually not sure. Yeah. So if we click on home, we should go here. Right? For some reason, if I click on about, it already scrolls down here. I'm not sure why, but uh, that of course should also be much smoother. So you can see when we click on it, the URL already changes. So that's already taken care of. Now, the only thing we have to do is go to these individual sections and just to add an ID, right? So here on the, on the outermost component, so for here for about, we can just add an ID of about. And then when I do that and now try this out, yeah. So now when I click here, I immediately go to this about uh, section. Now that's not very nice because it's sitting right at the top of the viewport. And we have this header here so awkwardly overlapping now. So um, ideally, it would basically put us something like right here or something like this. So a little bit lower. And there's actually a special property for this. This is pretty advanced. But um, when we click on about, we just want to add some basically some some extra space here. So the property that we can use or the, in, 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 in uh, Tailwind at least is called scroll margin. So we can say scroll margin top. So if we do that, and we'll make the number 28. So now when I click on about, yeah, so let's, I had to refresh here. Now when I click on about, you can see it's a bit, there's more space here between the top of the section and the top of the viewport, uh, which looks much better. So that's what we want to add to these other sections as well. All right, so now when we click on projects, we want to go to projects. So let's go to the projects section here. And here we'll add an ID of projects without the hash, right? So let's see if that works. Projects, uh, about projects. Let's see if I refresh. Click on projects. Yeah, and now I'm immediately scrolled to this projects uh, section here, also right at the top. So here we can also add that class name, not an ID, class name. Scroll margin top 28. Okay. So now if I click on about, it's it puts me right here. When I click on projects, it actually still puts me too high here. So let's see, let's double check. If, uh, if I refresh here, let's see if that works now. So I click on projects and yeah, and now it, it positions it properly, right? For both sections. All right, let's also do the intro or the, or the homepage. We'll make the intro uh, section here home. So we'll just add an ID without hash of home. All right, let's see. Okay, so now when I click on about and then home, it puts me, it puts the home at, right at the top of the viewport as well. Now here, that 28 is not going to be enough. So he, we, we actually just want to scroll all the way to the top, right? Not just, not just something like this. We actually do want to get all the way to the top. So here we can actually just use a larger number, scroll empty, and just use 100, just a very large one. So it, it scrolls all the way to the top. All right, so now if I click around, uh, I have to refresh. So now if I click around about home and that's actually too, not, not high enough. Yeah. So actually, and actually it should be a, a custom value here. So just a hundred RAM, very large number, just so it's always scrolling to the top. All right. So now if we click around about home, yeah. So home now takes us all the way to the top, right? By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level, because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.